Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 24 of Direwolf20's server play series. I'm on Forgecraft 2, Mine Martin's here, and Kahira. How are you two doing? Doing good. What are you guys up to today? Um, digging out a basement, uh, a dome. Uh, you take dome shapes, basement. Nice. <laughs> I'm automating <laughs> applied energistics on? today. Mm, yeah. Uh, shouldn't it be the other way around? You're automating something with Applied Energistics? No, see Applied Energistics has some new cool gadgets and such, and it's really helpful to automate them. Uh-oh, device online. Okay, now we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. I should really get some of that smart cabling stuff to figure out how my stuff's going, but we'll figure it out later. For now, I'm setting up all kinds of neat stuff. Uh, I need more cable, I believe. Well, that's enough for now. Ah, yes. Can I can remember the things to start off when uh, scanning when starting up on Thomcraft Research. Oh, yeah. You're starting Thomcraft Research? I always forget what I have to actually scan in what order and it's it's skipping. One place. Skipping hints now, right? Uh, I can't remember. Well, Let's see if this will work. Didn't used to. I was working on adding Farmcraft integration to the mod, and I saw that saying like you need to study mm. life before you can do that. Or you can, you need to study moving things before you can do that. Something like that. I might need another channel here. Or I might need to hook this up to a different line. Eek. I think I might do this to a different line. That'll be trouble for me. Alright, well, I'm out of device channels. I should really get one of these smart cables. And we'll be able to see that better. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. It says in the bottom right now, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah. It Normally says it's twisted. Uh, yeah. It used to say like you, you can't research this yet, or you don't have the knowledge to research. And now it yep. says something like you need to study X to, to research this. Alright guys, we're back, and I am picking up this guy. And I'm going to replace him with some dense cable. This stuff is going to allow us to have more than the eight channels that we originally had. So what I'm going to probably need to do, so we can see we're already using a little bit of that, I'm going to have to split this up. So let's do that. Let's do something like this. For now, like normally if I was like really trying to be cool about this, what I would have done is something like made this longer but I'm actually a little bit short on the resources for what I need for this so we're gonna have to pull it off of here like this and run underneath so what I'm gonna do is break this guy off and pretty much run it over to here and then I should be able to run this down here There we go. And what we should have now is we should have um, some of these guys taking up some of the channels. So we can see here devices online now. Perfect. Uh, if I really wanted to demonstrate this, what I could probably do is get a couple more smart cables. So let's do that, actually. Let's see if I have the stuff to make some more smart cables. I think I do. I do. Cool. So smart cables, as you guys know, or may know, or may not know, uh, basically show you how much is being used. So right now we're using two out of, with dense cable, you can have 32 uh, different channels hooked up. And a channel is either an export bus or an import bus or an interface or something like that, right? Um, so if we came over here and we checked by having anywhere on this line, we could have a smart cable we'd be able to see how many channels are currently in use. And we can see we're using most of them, seven out of the eight that we are able to have on a single non-dense cable. So regular cable can only have eight channels, dense can have 32. So basically one dense cable can connect up to four lines, each with eight on Hello. them. There so I've got the seven now. Quite close to my base and I didn't know it either. Well, okay. Ooh, is this working? Nice. I cleared up one already. 
I fixed my thing. Hmm. I ran out of, of uh, channels, so I needed to get some dense cable, and it's working now. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Also, uh, if you want to see how to hack a uh, monster spawner, you can do that. It looks quite cool. Oh, yeah? Do that. Well, it just oh. stops the, the entity from spinning and the fire particles and it just doesn't allow any entity to spawn anymore. I just realized I need to change my design a little bit. Hmm. Your body just the system. So here's how the inscribers work, by the way, guys. Um, the sides are important. So the top input goes to the top slot, the bottom input goes to the bottom slot, and the side inputs go to the side slot and also extract. So I need to put this stuff on the sides like that. Now if I put silicon in here, for example, it should start going in. Beautiful. That's what I wanted to see. Nice. Now I just need to have actually just a piece of cabling here. Should get them power that they need. Cool. And then this thing should get extracted. Work with micro parts. What's that? They do. Uh, the uh, pressure uh, yes. Yeah, pressure it chains all it's all micro parts now, right? Yep. That's well, cool. they convert to if they need to. Alright, let me put my signs back up, guys, but this should basically do what I want it to do. Alright, guys, just want to show you that this is working now. I'm uh, putting gold in here. It's automatically being pressed and placed in there. Same for diamond and same for Certus. Should be working as well. Nice. That's what I want to see. So, why is this cool? Well, I'll show you in a minute. Let's go ahead and do the rest of this stuff. That should be cool. We'll let that run. Um, now, what I do want to do is get some pressed stuff. Did I break something? I must have broken something. Oh, I might be killing our power usage. All right, let me cut the power to this thing, and that might save us. We'll see. Come on, power. I'll boost it with, uh, just for now. Ah. It's in there, isn't it? All right, hold on. I'll be right back. There we go. Temporarily got power back up and running. I want to see how badly my power loss is doing right now. Oh yeah, it's actually pretty bad. Even with this thing off? Sounds should be replaced by yeah. elevator music. Should be. Yes, should be. definitely. Yeah. You're, you're going to add elevator music? <laughs> I think so, yeah. I just realized my new AE oh. system is completely decimating my power. <laughs> I'm going to need some more lava generators, I think, or something. I have a plan, but it's going to take a bit to get set up. Use one of Quetzi's <laughs> solar panels. <laughs> yeah, right. I should. I should steal Quetzi's solar panel, but I just feel like that's cheating. <laughs> he wouldn't mind that. Well, I know he wouldn't mind. He's got like <laughs> 6,000 high voltage solar panels, but yeah. I want to I wanna build the infrastructure myself. That's where it's fun. I like having a problem like I'm out of power and having to solve it creatively. I just turned on my uh, yeah. my my ender generator thing, so I'll let that guy harvest for a bit. Actually, I'll turn this off because it makes a lot of noise. I'll turn it on later when I'm not recording. All right, so what I want to do now is get an upgrade. One simple upgrade. That'll probably be the export bus is where I'll find it best. Capacity card, that's what I want. Nice. I can make one of those. And then I want... Printed. So one, two, three, four. And I want one more export bus. As a matter of fact, I don't need you anymore. So check this out, guys. What I'm going to do is tell this export bus right there. If I can get to it. To keep printed silicon in here. And it should do that no problem. 
device online, printed silicon, beautiful. And then one more export bus. Hopefully I have enough stuff on the line here that I can do this. I'm thinking I'm awfully close to running out of line stuff, but we'll see. Device missing channel. Oh, that might not be good. So let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five imports. One, two, three. That actually should be close to okay. Device online, missing channel. So three and one, two, three, four, five. Why am I missing a channel back here? Let me figure that out and I'll be right back. Oh, because I'm connected to these guys like a derp, probably. So now we're cool? Yeah, we're cool now. I just need to get this guy. Like that, probably, and then like that. Now we should be good. Now we should have no more device missing channel problems. This is perfect. It just barely fits with the channels available, but it's gonna fit and that's what counts. So into the top, we're gonna designate with a capacity card that you can keep any of these things in here. Cool. And look, it's working. So now we have a fully automated inscriber process. Basically, all we need to do is if we need more gold inscription things, we just drop some gold into this item hopper and it'll start working. How cool is that? Uh, and then it should automatically replace the redstone. And because there's no use for these printed circuits besides turning them into this thing, we should be golden. I mean, that's cool, right? This thing's still running. Nice. Um, yeah, look at that. Very cool. It's a little bit slow, but that's okay. I don't mind. I'm happy. It's fully automated now. Um, I just need to, the only manual piece, like I said, is dropping the items into that thing. So check it out, my, my Martin. I automated everything. Hey, Kahira. Hey. Do you want to see this too? Sure. I automated inscribers. Mm. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm pretty pleased with it. I think algorithm made it to be automated. <laughs> like, I just really wanted to automate inscribers because it was getting to that point where it needed to happen. So it's the same deal again in Applied Logistics 2. First thing you automate with Applied Logistics is Applied Logistics. You guessed it, <laughs> sir. That is absolutely correct. I actually need more glass. Sandstone, sandstone, and you guys. I have to do a Uh, that's probably not the... It's downstairs, inside the little room back there. Mm. My spooky trail. <laughs> Over here. Dun dun dun. This guy. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So I have one inscriber for each press that you need. And then the end one here automatically gets filled with printed silicon, redstone, and whatever circuit board you're looking at. Nice. So it's all automated at the end. So all I need to do, like, say I need more of, like, the basic circuit boards, the gold ones, I just put, you know, however much gold inside this item hopper, and then the rest just happens. Nice. nice. Cool, right? Yeah. And there's my drone doing a good job. I gotta say, <laughs> my Martin, I like drones. <laughs> They are cool. All right, guys, now that we've automated that, we will be back in a few minutes. All right, guys, like I mentioned, I have a bit of a power problem. So let's solve it. I'm going to move some things here in a minute. So that's two, five, maybe I want, well, we'll see how this goes. I'll go with six in total, but how's this thing got for time? Plenty. Um, let's see. So you're happy doing that. And did you grab the solar panel from Etsy? <laughs> no, I didn't. 
I'm doing something else. <laughs> I have like a couple things in mind that I'd like to do. So oh, I've got three one. lava generators and it's still not able to keep up. Holy cow, that's a lot wow. of power. I guess having that block next to it forced a block update. Oh well, not that that's a big deal. And let's steal you. You. And you. I guess they store their generated power. That's neat. So I might want one more of these just to have like an even number, but we'll see. So you should be getting generated or lava now. That's cool. And then I want to show you guys a new, well, I don't know if it's new actually, but I see Tema using it. And I don't recognize it, so I'm going to call it new. The energy extraction pipe. Haven't heard of it. It sounds new, right? Yeah. Is this from Max Chance? Yeah. And just to be even, I'm going to make one more lava generator because. All right, so in theory, how are you doing for power? You've got plenty of RF, thanks to my ender generator, which I'll probably just break so I can make sure that this is working the way I want instead of waiting two hours to find out. All right, now we're holding zero RF, and I probably just killed my AE system, right? Yep, it just died. Okay, so that makes sense. So now let's get you guys all set up and installed. How's this looking? Not bad. So I think what I need to do then is install these energy extraction pipes and they'll pull energy out of here. And then hopefully, nice, that looks like it's working. Why was there a creeper right in the middle of my base? What? <laughs> Because you didn't light it up well enough. Apparently. F7 is your friend. Well. Fortunately, it was in the middle, so it wasn't really that much stuff. It blew up. Still. I'm going to try and cover this up with clear glass, and hopefully, it'll look cool. And Minecraft decided, hmm, which mob should we spawn just because there's one tile that isn't lit up enough? Let's spawn a creeper who got that's fun. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft is trolling you. Pull me back, maybe. <laughs> I gotta say, it's really impressive to see connected textures on clear glass covers. Yeah. That's kind of neat, right? I wouldn't know how to do that. <laughs> I wonder if I'll get connected textures on my hollow clear glass cover, or if I'll crash the server for trying. Yeah, that one doesn't have connected textures, and in fact, it looks like he forgot to reverse the texture sheet. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? That whole 172 thing. Yeah. That's okay, though. I won't complain too much. All right, there's one more thing I want to do, and that is make an annihilation core, and then an interface, and the interface is going to go right here.
and then hopefully anything that goes into the interface will wind up in the AE system. Maybe. Maybe not. All right, yeah, it's there. I forgot I was using, oh, I apparently was using thickened glass from extra utilities, not clear glass, but they look similar, so. Either way, it's working. I just want to change my turtle. Cool, I think I have a nice looking AE system at this point. It's actually pretty sharp the way it's running. I've got plenty of power. Oh yeah, tons of RF as a matter of fact, thanks to my massive lava gen. I'm pretty pleased with this system. Are you done processing, by the way? I guess you are. Are you done? Yeah, look at that. That is cool. All right, guys, I think uh, I'm pretty pleased with this. We'll be back in a few. All right, guys, we are back, and it looks like it's about time to upgrade our AE system. So uh, it's really easy for me to go ahead and craft that 4K storage unit because we made all these automation upgrades. It's really pretty cool. So now that we have all this upgraded stuff, we can go ahead and swap out our chest. Nice. So I just want to go and visit my quarry real quick. So I'm going to grab a couple of these ender lily seeds here, head on up, and into the quarry age. Nice. Good luck with the stream. Thanks. Good night. All right. So we're just going to upgrade or get the quarry running again now that we have more storage and we have automation controlling all the, you know, different stuff and able to automatically process all the ores. We're in pretty good shape. Nice. Looks like this thing's starting to run, so that's good. I don't know. Cool. Why get... What was that? All right, cool. Let's head back to our base. All right. This thing's almost emptied out. And it looks like our system's running here. Nice. My Thalmcraft jar here, I had, uh, I put that jar there so that it would store like a jar full of ore dough, hoping to have like a little buffer so that when it's not running, it kind of fills up. But you can see how quickly it's draining out that ore dough. It's almost completely empty. So either I put a bunch of jars there or I just leave it as is. And it's, it's a little bit slower without that buffer of ore dough. I wish I could have like, I don't know, a bunch of jars in one or something, but I don't think there's anything else that can store that ore dough. All right, is this chest empty yet? No, not yet. Almost, though. I could add another acceleration card here, but I guess I'm not gonna. I mean, it's really not that necessary. It goes fast enough as it is. So, oh, looks like I'm missing a lily seed. Let me grab one real quick and plant it. Cool. And we'll let this thing run a Okay, guys, we are back, and now what I want to do is just make uh, another one of these little nifty gadgets because what I want to make is going to be pretty cool. Um, let's take a look here. I want to set up an export bus to keep this thing full of Ignis. So what I've been using is um, Netherrack. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to grab a pizza Netherrack here and that export bus, and let's see if I can find a way to hook up this export bus here so that I can uh, export into this thing. So, you know, guys, I'm really enjoying the whole dealing with the, the cabling and the channels and stuff and applied energistics. I know some people aren't, like, totally loving it, but I think it's really neat. I think it's a cool way to kind of force people to have some creative designs with their system here. Oh, need to grab my wrench real quick. There we go. So, I, I think it's fun. So, I'm having a good time with it. So, let's see. All we need to do here is stick this export bus right up here. There we go. Nice. And then some cabling to go along with that. And I'll put a cover here or something later. Just got to hook this guy up. Oops. There we are. And nice. Cool. So let me just close up the wall and we're good to go. I just have to uh, run out back real quick and plug that netherrack into the export bus. So what this should do is keep me fully supplied of Ignis in this jar here so I don't have to worry about whole, you know, keeping that thing running quickly thing. Because for now it was something I was doing manually, but because I already have cabling run over there, and now that I have all this automation with the inscriber and everything, it's real easy to keep that full. So this should be exporting some netherrack into the thing. There it is. Nice. So that's automated now. Gotta love it. 
And I think this thing's all working awesome. Very good. All right. Ah, oh, nice. We're getting some of that iron ore cluster stuff. Very cool. So I'm thinking, let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely liking these smart cables here. It's definitely helpful to see like where all the, the, the channels are in the system. I really, like I said, enjoy the whole channel system here. And now that we've got the inscribers and everything automated, it's really going to make it a lot easier to do some of the applied energistic stuff we want to do. But I think I'm getting pretty close to wrapping up applied energistics, at least for now. I mean, I'm doing almost everything I can with applied energistics. I don't know if there's much else that I need to hook up with the way my base is working now. Unless I wanted to plug into those ender lily seeds or ender pearls or whatever. That's really not necessary. Um, but yeah, I think overall I've got a pretty good setup here. Nice. And you can see we're not really using that many channels in the dense cable. You can really have a lot of channels on one controller. It's crazy how many you can have. All right, guys, we're back now, and uh, I want to do one more addition. I actually did think of something. When I mentioned the barrels earlier, I, really, I realized, wait a second, I have a resource that I need a lot of, so let me grab a few more cables here, and let's get this run, because uh, I'm going to need a lot of these things. Well, not too much, actually, because I, I do kind of have a decent amount of cabling kind of close to what I want to do. I want to hook up the uh, wood barrel. So first things first, let's get a smart cable hooked up into this thing. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. I'm guessing it doesn't really have much of it used up, maybe half, a little bit more than half. Well, I've got room for one more, and that's all I really need right now. Uh, I'm going to plug into and put a storage bus on my wood barrel. I don't really need it on the uh, saplings or apples, I don't think, but let's see. I'm just going to dig right down here, and let's see. Probably just stick it on the bottom here, right? That should be fine. And then run some cable into it, and we should be good. Of course, I don't think I have a shovel with me, do I? Let's see... Do I have a shovel? No, probably not. All right. So let's see. Up here. All right. It's one more over. So let's dig through here. I'll come right back. All right, guys. We're back. And what I'm going to do is just uh, get this thing hooked up. Uh, no luck. This should be good. There we go. Cool. So like I said, we should have access to the wood uh, that's you know in this barrel now because I've got a storage bus attached to the barrel. I don't really think I'll hook up the other stuff. So let's see. We'll fill this hole in now. And we can go check to make sure that we have access to the wood in the system. There we go. Just making things look nice. All right, so 5,000 wood. Nice. That's what I wanted to see. Very cool. So I can just clean up this inventory a little bit. So like I said, now we have access to that. We could run other stuff over here if we needed to, but it's really not necessary. Overall, I think our AE system is looking pretty good. We automated that thingy there. We've got, you know, all this stuff nicely automated, and we're doing a good job with ore doubling. You can see my ore doubling machine is running. Like I said, I don't think I'll fill up uh, or hook up into the apples or saplings barrel. I don't think that's really necessary, um, for now at least. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look in here. I really like the way the, the, the channel system works with the cables. The smart cable makes it really really cool and the dense cable is neat because you can have just so many channels hooked up to one like i said with you know one line here if i wanted to i could have a dense cable running over here and hook up way more machines on that line but it's really not necessary um and we can run in here and take a look we can see that our ore is running through so like this whole base now is hooked up with applied energistics and it's looking great for now dial 20 signing off hope you enjoyed the episode take it easy